Nothing to do as usual, huh? Hmm? <laughs> Why are you here? If you came here to try and convince me, then forget it. It's nothing like that. I just wanted to see how you were doing. Huh? We've known each other for a long time. It's been almost 14 years since we met at the orphanage. You, me, and Miki. We used to run around here until the sun went down. Back then, it seemed like we had all the time in the world. <laughs> you haven't changed one bit. If you want to get all sappy, go do it with your other friends. What was that? It's rare for you to think about the past. Usually, you just charge ahead like a damn fool. So obviously, there's something on your mind. <clears throat> I do reminisce sometimes. But what's the point? <clears throat> anyway, we finally know how to get rid of Tartarus in the dark hour. No shit. Yeah. To be honest, all I've been thinking about lately is getting stronger. But yesterday, someone made me question my reason for fighting. Your reason for fighting, huh? That's different for every person. But if you don't have a good one, you can always quit. Like I did. I'm not like you. Man, I can't believe I'm the one getting lectured here. Well, see you around. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. Yes? Can I talk to you for a moment? Senpai? Oh, please come in. Not only do you excel at providing support during battle, but also at obtaining information. Oh, I I'm sorry for doing that without permission. Don't worry, you're not in trouble, but I do have a special favor to ask of you. I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident ten years ago. But very little was made public. That's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. You mean hack into their system? That's illegal. I'll give you my ID and password. You'll be free from accountability. I want to know the truth, in detail. Senpai. Of course, I'll understand if you refuse. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Are you sure? I appreciate it. Yamagishi. Aren't you resentful? After all, despite my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. Certainly, you must be a little angry with me. Not really. You see, my parents have an inferiority complex because all my relatives are doctors. That's why they're so tough on me. hard for me to be at home. But here, I feel important, and I can help you and the others. So why should I be angry? 
You're right, Yamagishi. We do need you. No one can take your place. Uh, um. Thank you. I'll see you later. So, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will be gone, huh? That's good. That's what we've been fighting for. So why am I so pissed? Gosh, it's hot. Even for July. Seriously. But at least we're seniors now. We won't be wearing these stupid uniforms much longer. Yeah, I've had enough of this. I just want to get accepted to college and start having some fun. <laughs> I know why. I'm the reason. I was like, fighting is my duty, but hell, it's all I'm good for. If it weren't for that, it'd be worthless. <laughs> my duty? What a bunch of bullshit. Even when it comes to fighting, she's just on another level. Damn it. Nothing I do is good enough. <sighs> Seems like my worst fears keep coming true. Am I stupid to believe in things like trust and friendship? Dad, this old letter of yours. I must have read it a thousand times since it came last spring. March 6th, 2000. To my family. Tomorrow, I bring this letter to the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It'll be stored in a time capsule and sent to you ten years from now. Yukari, you're so small right now, but in ten years, you'll be 16. You'll be in high school. I know you've been sad because I have to work so late. But you still always greet me with a smile. I'm really proud of myself. Karijo san appointed me head researcher. I'll be starting on a big project soon, and I'm happy to be receiving so much recognition for my work. But I swear to you that nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. Dad... Yukari, are you remembering to enjoy life? Are you still bright-eyed and hopeful like you are now? No matter what happens in the next ten years, I hope you're happy. Well, I hope this letter brings a smile to your face. Love, Dad. No matter what happens, huh? I can't lose hope. For his sake. I won't turn my back. I won't be like Mom. Not ever. Put you in.
since we first met. Time passes so quickly. So, how's life as a Persona user? <laughs> well, take it from me. You're trying your hardest. I remembered something else about the coming of the end. It all goes back to an occurrence that took place many years ago. 
10 years ago, if I remember correctly. Hey, didn't your parents pass away about 10 years ago? A persona is like a mirror, which means a persona user can never escape from his true self. Regardless, I will stay with you. Because we're friends. Good night.
everyone. Are you guys hungry? Mm, not really. Um... You know, it's almost summer break. Do you have any plans? I wish I could go to the beach. Hot sand, cool breeze, babes in bikinis. Man, it sure would be nice. Somewhere in the south, where the water is crystal clear. But first, we have exams to worry about. Ugh, what a drag. Now, now, you'll be fine. But yeah, I'd love to go somewhere famous for its beautiful beaches, like Okinawa. Well, it's not Okinawa, but how about Yakushima? Mr. Chairman, I didn't realize you were here. I happen to be in the area, so I thought I'd drop by and tell you my schedule for next week. Mitsuru, your father will be vacationing in Yakushima during the break. He will. You'll all have some time off after exams, right? Why don't you go and pay him a surprise visit? Seriously? We're gonna go on a trip? Yes! Beach babes, here I come! Ugh, yeah. oh, men. <laughs> yeah. How about it, Mitsuru? My father is a busy man. I don't want to ruin his vacation. <laughs> don't worry. No father would be upset with a daughter who came all that way to see him. You've all done a great job. You deserve to relax for a while. We already know when the next operation will be, so it should be fine. I don't know. Senpai, I'm begging you. <sighs> All right. Everyone needs a break now and then. Let's do it. Woohoo! Ah, the beach. I should design a special training regimen. Dude, I am stoked! I have to go buy a swimsuit. 
I got an extra pair you can borrow. Nice try, man. Are you going to swim too, Ikutsuki-san? I'm afraid I can't. I'll turn to dust if I'm exposed to sunlight. <laughs> Whoa, was that a joke? Of course it was. Senpai, wait! Uh... Sorry about the other day. I got a little carried away. Don't worry about it. In a way, it's only logical that we go to Yakushima. The chairman said that no one who was responsible for the accident is still alive, but... In reality... There is one witness who survived. There is? My father. Oh, senpai.
The dark days of testing are finally over. The sun is shining bright. So, how'd you do? Hey, check it out. I aced PE. Well, that pretty much answers the question. <laughs> A real man doesn't dwell on the past. I'm thinking ahead to Yakushima. Oh, yeah, that's coming up soon, isn't it? Are you ready? Me? Uh, not really. I guess I should be more enthusiastic, huh? Hey, I don't have practice today, so do you want to do something? What do you say? Sounds good. Where are we going? If you need to buy a swimsuit, I'd be happy to help. As if. All right, give me a sec. I'm going to go grab my stuff from the locker room. Oh, I'll invite Fuka, too. Sorry about the way I've been acting. I was just in a bad mood, and I took it all out on you. I know it wasn't too cool of me. All right. Thanks. Let's go back to how things used to be between us, okay? All right. Let's get going. What should I do now? Don't worry, I'm sure you'll think of something. Hell yeah, I will. Hey, what are you doing here, Akihiko-san? Ikutsuki-san called me. I think he wants to talk about a new candidate. Does that mean another person is going to join? Maybe. Oh, is it gonna be another girl? How should I know? Fuka! What's wrong, Natsuki-chan? Do you think you can stay after school with me for a mandatory study session? There's like no one... Oh, you're going back to your home home today, huh? Okay, then never mind. Hey, wait. It's all right. Let's go. Sorry. I'll see you all later back at the dorm. I'm really surprised at how much she's changed. Ah, oh, friendship. How beautiful. Adolescence is such a wonderful thing. So full of vibrancy. Mr. Chairman! Oh, hello. I just stopped by to pick someone up. I might as well introduce you to him now. Hello. Oh, hi, Cancun. What's up? You know him? He doesn't leave during the break because of his circumstances. Oh, I heard about that. Something about his parents. It was only me and my mom, but she got in an accident and she, she died. It happened two years ago. Right now, one of his distant relatives is paying for his school expenses. But staying at the elementary school dorm all by himself isn't proper for a child his age. 
So I decided to move him to your dorm for the summer. To our dorm? Do you really think that's a good idea? Why, of course. He has the potential. Then he's the new candidate? Yes. But as you can see, he's still just an elementary school student. So it is merely a possibility for now. Uh... Are you Sonata Senpai? Um, yeah. I've heard a lot about you. You haven't lost a boxing match yet. It's a real honor to meet you. Yeah, well, it's nice to meet you.